Hello, hello, I'm Brenton, one of our MCAT tutors here at Inspira Advantage, where we help students get into med school and other professional programs. Today, we're going to talk about the parts of the cell cycle and mitosis that you need to know for the MCAT. Let's start with the cell cycle in G1. Let's start with the cell cycle at G1. During G1, the cell is making mRNA and proteins to prepare for mitosis. At the end of G1, the cell reaches its first checkpoint. Conveniently named the G1 checkpoint. One of three things will happen from here. The cell will check to see if it has enough mRNA and protein for mitosis. And if it does, then the cell will continue to go on and divide. If it doesn't, the cell will postpone dividing and work on making more mRNA and protein until there's enough to divide. The third option is that the cell will check and decide that it never wants to divide and enter what's called the G0 phase. In G0, the cell will never divide. The most popular type of cell stuck in G0 that the MCAT are likely to test are neurons. The G1 checkpoint is particularly important for the MCAT because it is the critical point where the cell decides whether to divide or not divide. In addition to checking the cell's mRNA and protein content, it also checks for DNA damage. And if there is any DNA damage, then the cell won't proceed to the next phase. After having enough mRNA and proteins to pass the G1 checkpoint, the cell then enters S phase. Here, the cell begins to duplicate its DNA for mitosis. Then the cell will enter G2, where the cell continues to grow, notably by making additional organelles. After G2, we have our next checkpoint, again aptly named the G2 checkpoint. At this checkpoint, the cell will make sure that the cell is large enough and contains all the organelles needed. Additionally, the cell will make sure that all of the DNA was replicated during the earlier S phase. Once all of these requirements are met, the cell will finally begin splitting by mitosis. Now we will take a look at the essential parts of mitosis that you need to know for the MCAT. Mitosis is the process of cell division that results in two genetically identical daughter cells. It occurs in, eu in eukaryotic cells, which are cells that have a true nucleus and organelles enclosed by membranes. Mitosis is important for the growth and repair of tissues in the body. For example, when a person cuts their finger, mitosis allows for the production of new skin cells to repair the injury. The process of mitosis can be broken down into four main stages, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. During prophase, the first stage of mitosis, the nuclear envelope begins to disintegrate and the nucleolus disappears. The nucleolus is a small, dense structure found within the nucleus that is involved in the production of ribosomes. As prophase progresses, the chromatids or replicated chromosomes also become visible and start to condense. Chromatids are formed during this process of DNA replication, when the DNA molecule is copied so that each daughter cell receives an identical set of genetic instructions. Once that is complete, it'll take us up to metaphase. In metaphase, the second stage of mitosis, the chromatids line up at the center of the cell and become attached to the mitotic spindle, a structure made up of microtubules that help to separate the chromosomes during division. The mitotic spindle is formed by the centrosomes, which are organelles located near the nucleus and contain the centrioles. Centrioles are small, barrel-shaped structures that are involved in the formation of the mitotic spindle. During anaphase, the third stage of mitosis, the chromatids are separated and begin to move to opposite poles of the cell. This is done by the action of the mitotic spindle, which pulls the chromatids towards the poles. As the chromatids move towards the poles, the cell becomes longer and more narrow. Finally, in telophase, the fourth and final stage of mitosis, two new nuclei form and the cell begins to divide into two daughter cells. A new cell wall also begins to form, as seen here by the darker orange line. Separating the two daughter cells, the formation of the new nuclei and cell wall marks the completion of mitosis and the beginning of interphase. This is a brief overview of the process of mitosis. Understanding this process is incredibly important to do all on the MCAT. Thank you for watching our video on the cell cycle of mitosis, and I'll see you next time.